Hello, Hefe. How's it going, man? Welcome back. We are streaming today and continuing with our showcase of the bundle for racial justice and equality. Big collection of 1,600 items, including tabletop games, uh, independent video games for the PC, um, everything you could think of, assets for building games. It, it was quite the bundle. And we're only touching upon like five games here, but um, the most current one being Rad Raygun. Um, I have to admit, not a big fan of this game when I first started playing it yesterday, but it has since won me over. Um, the big thing was that I realized I had the main character configured wrong. So, you're not supposed to give him all his battery power. You're supposed to distribute the battery power evenly to whatever items you need to, or abilities you need to charge. And basically he was taking two shots and his battery was drained and he was getting killed in the process. So I didn't figure that out until I finally learned how to check his battery power and adjust it accordingly. So um, yeah, the uh, game became more enjoyable. I was beating levels and you know, there was a New York level, which was pretty clever. The whole point of the game is it's a it's a platformer that plays kind of like Mega Man. It's an O'Day to the Game Boy. You could tell that by the color. You know, there's an option for giving him more backlit power so you could see. And, you know, you're fighting the Soviets in the 80s. It's, it's an interesting concept. It's fun. It's not as good as Bleed and Bleed 2. That was a rush to play. Super Rad Ray Gun isn't too bad. You know, we'll continue it now and then we're going to play a puzzle game after that. If we beat this today or tomorrow, we'll start it. Called Semblance. Really good puzzle game. So it's a puzzle platformer. But first, let's free the United States of America from the Soviets. Get things started. Welcome to the channel today. How's it going, Hefe? I hope you're having a good weekend. Yeah, right off the back, you could tell the main character is the actual Game Boy. <laughs> the music's fantastic in this game, I'll say that. Of course, it's got that mesh screen look that looks... makes it look like a Game Boy screen. And then you could also swatch, swap the palettes, so... But I'm going to keep it in the original Game Boy Color. But swapping the palettes is pretty cool, so you can actually make it look like Game Boy Color instead. Definitely love the graphics. Yeah, they're pretty they're pretty unique. For an indie game. I think I've determined based on the New York level that whoever whoever developed this game. They're from New York, so. Swap palettes and got a Roboto too? Really? I didn't know that. I probably would have played that if I knew that. For some reason that palette look that it had going for it gave me a bit of a headache when I tried playing it. I'm gonna have to check it out. Here you unlock the palettes and then you could essentially swap them out, but I've always kept the traditional one. I just like this look. So we're basically going around the world trying to take out all the communists. We can go to Berlin right now. Or we can go to Managua. Let's try Managua. Also, if we go back to Cape Canaveral, the scientist who created us in his lab, because we're a robot, we're a Game Boy essentially, um, he'll give us upgrades to our abilities, so. The game sounds a little loud. Let me know on screen, on stream, please. Um, Apparently, the controls for adjusting the sound within the game don't really have any effect. Actually, let me lower this a little, just to begin with. That should do it. Yeah, see, here are the pilots. I'd say the music is a little low, actually. Uh, I think that's only because we're in the menu screen. 
real boy look. Kind of funny. United States of Awesome, red, white, and blue. I prefer classic right now. So keep it at that. Uh, how about now? Music's still a little low. I think it was just on the startup screen, maybe. Let's put it back to whatever it was. There we go. How's that? All right. We're in the jungle here. Hey, it's Red Raygun. Hi there. What are you fellas doing in Nicaragua? Much better? Cool. Thank you. We're fighting communists just like you. Of course, Ronald Reagan's our president at that time because it's the 80s. We're trying to overthrow the new Sandinistas government. We'll need our help. You can pass through Rad, but it's too dangerous. I'll let you go into the jungle alone. We can help you get to Russia, though. We'll just need your help to get some funding first. I'm always glad to help. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, so... That's it. We just passed through on our way to Grenada. All right. Grenada it is. Warnings. Heavy combat environmental hazards. All right. Where are we going? Some critical strategic checkpoint between the east and west. We're going to Grenada. Is that near Russia? near Venezuela in the Caribbean Sea. The government was overthrown by a radical Marxist group, and now they're building an airfield that the Soviets could use to bring in military supplies. Cool, we just need to find invasions for way... We justified invasions for way less than that before. We're invading Grenada? We're using Grenada to launch an invasion to uh, Venezuela. Whoever made this game is, well, obviously they're anti-communism, not that anybody's pro-communism, but it's got its political agenda. Um, this is what I want to do. Okay, so here I didn't realize we could assign batteries to our abilities and I had them all assigned on and our poor little Brad guy here was getting killed almost instantly and it became very frustrating and I never realized that I could turn these down so that he could have less backlight you know we're outdoors we don't really need this right now um, you know that'll allow him to have more HP It'll also allow him to um, shoot his blaster better. So we have 15 batteries left, but you know you want to be able to shoot your gun. You know you don't want your battery to run out, especially in dam in um, battle. Uh, the protective case you want that all the way up because it protects you from water. So you can customize your character on the fly based on the level exactly. Um, as you saw when we went into the level, it kind of gave you a heads up, like, oh, there's, like, toxic environment and, you know, heavy shooting and... Yeah, it's pretty cool. See, we take a lot of damage from the water, but because we have the protective casing all the way up, he's okay now. The hit detection box, though, was a little wonky. See, that means we're using too much battery power here. So, let's... Decreases the time it takes for energy bar to refill. Take this down. That's fine. I think we can do without the uh, backlight altogether.
Yeah, these robot, enemy robots that look like something out of a Mega Man game, they're... They're co our communist enemies, apparently. And every once in a while you get into a... Sh you run into a soldier like that. When you get to the Russian flags, those are your checkpoints. So you continue from there. Little slug. Snail. It's a pretty simple, straightforward platformer. Slash shooter. We got another battery out of that? Yes, we did. And all these bits, these e problems, I think they are. That's our currency in the game. Equivalent of uh, Super Mario's coins, I guess. He controls okay, Rad Ray Gun. Uh, wish I had better hitbox detection, but. Music's really good in this game. I'll give I'll give you that. For a chip tune game, pretty awesome. Sniper up there. some help on that side, so Just make sure we get it. If you're into shmups, though, shoot em up games. Let me tell you, Bleed and Bleed 2, phenomenal games. So much fun. Definitely check them out. This game is good, but those games, like, super impress me. And they're really cheap too, I think you could buy both of them on Steam for $4. There's so many different ways to play them, and... And the replayability value is just off the charts. It's... So good. So definitely check out Bleed and Bleed 2. Uh, Radiant Silver Gun? No, I haven't played it yet. I'm actually, I, I'm actually terrible at shmups, but Bleed and Bleed 2 were the first ones I attempted to stream, and I had a lot of fun with that. Oh boy. Right. Yeah, I can't take out that sniper. Just gotta watch out for his bullets. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Radiant Silver Gun is gonna be something I might give a try. I'm more into shmups now after playing Bleed that. I'll give a few others tries. Probably on my own time, though. And oh, we're fighting a little mermaid now. Apparently she's a communist. We've taken over Rad. Get off our island and leave us alone.
This is the level's boss, I guess. Already off island, we're in the water. And you can't just overthrow an elected government. Oh, that's a little ironic coming from you. All that matters right now is that the, that airport. It's a perfect staging point for a bombing raid on the US. As if. It's a perfect staging point to export nutmeg and cocoa beans, you dillweed. Yeah, we're fighting the Little Mermaid. All our friends are here. She's like Neptune or something. She can summon the fish or Aquaman. We got Sebastian and what looks like Mr. Krabs. And some bronze. Boss battles are pretty fair. They're pretty easy so far. Of course, she has a stage two, apparently. Got her. Alright, took care of Grenada. We go to the Falklands now? Still got Berlin up there. Guess we go to the Falklands. Really, another tiny island. Hmm, it looks like it's the Brits. Looks like the Brits are already here. Go check it out. this gentleman. Hey, who are you and why are you on this tiny island? My name is Mega Maggie. I'm here to fight off the bloody Argentines, not in Argentines what invade our island. Whoa, you're a girl. What are people supposed to tell? Shouldn't you wear a bow or something? I'll put on a bloody bow when you start wearing a top hat so I can tell you're a lad. That's a really good point, okay. But why does Britain have the free this freezing South American island? You mesh. It's been hours for years. But some Khalid governor thought he'd have a go at it. Twirl a right punch in the teeth. But I'm en route to the Belgrande. I know they're trying to make it sound like a British accent. It's not working. And I expect we'll have the bacons lit soon enough. Okay, do you need any help? Bobbit, you divvy. We've no need for the triggering, triggering all about. Right, I'm not hip to this lingo. <laughs> Neither am I. You kids use these days. I didn't really follow that either. Something about a war with Argentina. Hmm. I don't like that. Things are complicated enough without them starting wars over here. Well, to be fair, we like just finished invading Grenada. Alright. Alright. Fine. We're not too happy about that either. Just head out and try not to stir up any trouble with our allies. Pip pip. Cheerio. Maggie. Oh, get stuff, you pawns. So that's our British Game Boy cousin. That's it. That was a whole level. Robin Island. Brad, this is where we'll find the tripod of wisdom. Yeah, so the story is we're trying to get these five pieces to a weapon. And um, when we find it, it'll be a weapon that'll help us take out the Soviets forever. Wait a minute. This is where you they keeping that political prisoner, everyone is holding benefit. Wait, what's going on? Oh, come on, Mr. President. I'm already here. It's no trouble at all. Rad, our friends in Britain don't like this guy. And they're already mad at us for invading Grenada. Be careful. And don't do anything rash. 
All right, we're supposed to save some kind of political prisoner here, I would think. Ah. There should be some switches that you can shoot to break down the prison walls, Brad. Keep an eye out for them. Switches, okay. So we needed that to break that down. Gotcha. As soon as you go off screen and back again, the enemies respawn all the time. Does it make things easier? Get up there to get those bits. Wait a minute, what was all the way to the right? We, we've been through here already. We're not gonna get very far. I like this. Just keep going to the right. Sorry, Rad, your political dissident is in another prison? He was transferred there like 20 years ago, in fact. Well, I'll go find him. There, then. Don't be draft. Don't be daft. Rad, he's a known communist and a terrorist. He's a little too dialogue heavy for a platformer. He's a freedom fighter taking on an evil government. Right, Mr. President? Look, Rad. Why don't you back off, and we'll make a mild public statement of disapproval instead. Sorry, Mr. President, but I'm following my conscience on this. Well, I'm right. Mittered then, Rad. I have a feeling we're gonna have to fight the British Game Boy. Or Mega... Mega Game Gear, as he calls himself. No! Alright, that takes up the wall down there. Let's backtrack a little down below because we can get one up and some help. I think we need the protective casing right now ourselves a little bit more agile because we have the back dash and um yeah we should be okay like that H2O, hazard. Okay, that means we're gonna go put on our protective case again. Three one-ups, well, four actually, if you're counting the one that you're using right now on each level. When you use them all up, then, then you gotta restart the level. You could continue from the level, but you'll have to restart it completely. All right, 
That's what I don't like, when the screen scrolls and you're trying to jump out of the water. It's annoying. Shut up here. Like a secret way here? No. Hey, Kanitsky. Seems like a major design flaw. It's hard to leave the water. Yeah. It's not only that, it's like when you're platforming um, vertically, sometimes you'll jump upwards and the screen will scroll when you're doing that, and it's just like so annoying. That's the only gripe I really have with this game, platforming wise. How's it going anyway, Kanitsky? Hope you're having a good weekend. Oh, we got another battery here. Good. Doing well. Glad to hear. Yeah, I think Bambi's communist too, so we gotta kill her here. I'm doing okay. I'm just relaxing with some casual indie games these last couple of days, so. Been having a lot of fun with them. Needed a break from the hard retro games like Hitman and Privateer and all that stuff. I think this game is also available on the PS4. Not sure about Xbox though. Hi, I'm Rad Raygun. I'm here to rescue you. That's great, Rad. Are you from the Soviet Union? This must be Nelson Mandela. And no, we're not from the Soviet Union. What? No, of course not. You're bad guys. I'm from the USA. Is that Obama? No, I think it's Nelson Mandela. This game takes place in the uh, the 80s. So, like, Ronald Reagan is the president of the United States. Um, you know, it's, it's very 80s-centric. Really, but the USA supports the South African NP government, who's keeping me here and being an... an ANC dissident? Um, Mr. President, no, supporting the MP would mean we support an evil apartheid system. But the ANC, who's against them, are communists. What we're doing is opposing the Soviets. They just happen to support the ANC, who opposes the NP, who supports apartheid laws. It's very confusing. So we're not supporting human rights violations. We're just opposing opposed to the supporters of their opposition. It's simple. I think it's pretty obvious we have the morale, moral high ground here. Well, Rad, without you, there's no way I'm getting out of prison this decade. Someone else is here to make sure I can't escape. I don't care what our official policy is. I'll get you out of here. All right, let's rescue Nelson Mandela. Stop it, Brad. We're allies. They can't let you free a terrorist. This is the British version of the Game Boy. A strange game. Required material as a controller and a working knowledge of 1980s world politics. Yes. Um, 
it's a very unique game in terms of that aspect. Um, obviously, you're playing as a Game Boy. He looks like a Game Boy. Um, it, it's an odd game. I chose it based on the fact that it had this really cool color palette look to it. So, and as a matter of fact, I just realized... Nobody can probably see the text on screen, but that should change in the next level. If not, I'll switch the color of it. I do like the classic Game Boy look, yes. You can palette swap too, to make it look more like a Game Boy color. Brad, just get the tripod of wisdom and leave them alone. The what? Oh, that's a whole other thing. It doesn't matter. I'm following my conscience for once. Even if that means fighting you, Mega Maggie. He's our British rival. Boss battles are relatively simple. This game kind of plays like a Mega Man. Got her. Yes, the representation of Margaret Thatcher, exactly. Well, I saved that nice man. I wish I hadn't had to fight Mega Maggie, though. Well, Rad, that's what happens when you try to do the right thing. Next time, maybe we should just follow my advice. At least we got one of the pieces of the missile launcher. We got the tripod of wisdom. All right. And you got this bonus stage, which I've yet to hit any of the bonuses. Suck it, Maggie, indeed. I don't even know what a bonus chance would give me if I hit it. It's so tough. New color palette unlocked, all right. I like keeping the game in this color palette, though. Go back to Cape Canaveral, upgrade our little Game Boy. See you again, Rad. Hop up here. Uh, hop up here if you need any upgrades. Yeah, we do. What do we have? 1408? We could buy... We could buy protective casing. We could add damage to attacks. Something tells me we should do... Um, do an arc shot. And then let's save our money for the next upgrade. Which, I want to do max HP again. If you try jumping on top of missiles, you might be able to reach some interesting places by riding on them. Yeah, not so much with the missiles, but... Yeah, I guess we're going to Berlin. I think we closed out the entire South Africa part. And there's the Soviet Union, the Iron Curtain, the Iron Orchestra Pit, weird as that is. And uh, near Turkey, it looks like you have a castle of some sorts. Berlin, here we go. Welcome to Berlin, Rad. You're right on the border between the first world and the second. What? I'm still not even the world two? No, Rad, I mean this is where Western Europe meets the Soviet Eastern Bloc states. Oh, that makes sense. 
So what's our mission here? We're after her hair metal. Hair metal's the enemy. But what we did to Mount St. Helens, what he did to Mount St. Helens, this is some home turf. This is his home turf, so he should be here. Hair metal. We're going after hair metal. Not a righties reference. Sniper up there. Yeah, it's it's a cute little game. It's got its sense of humor. Wonder if D. Snyder is going to make an appearance. I wouldn't be surprised. I think we saw Hair Metal yesterday when I started the game at some point, but... Yeah, because we were in Mount St. Helens, we would have had to have seen him. I forget what he looks like. We also took out the captain of the Exxon Valdez. There was an oil spill in Alaska and we had to go and uh, take care of that. Probably red if we had color. So you run out of battery power quickly. So you gotta kinda of balance what you use your, what abilities you assign your battery power to. Rad, hair metal is somewhere close. He's probably planning revenge for Mount St. Helens. Ninety-nine balloons. I'd say we had about nine of them so far. Twelve maybe. Be cool if you get an achievement for, like, taking down 99 of them. Sixteen? Ooh, Kaninsky's counting. Cool. Ah, can't get that battery. Oh, wait, wait, wait! More balloons. Deadly balloons. I'm not gonna bother with that battery. It looks... Like it's gonna be impossible to get. So we could do something with our backdash enabled. Let's try this. Wrong way. This will be the last attempt. I will use to uh, try to get that battery. Alright, we got it. Extra battery. DRS, welcome. Thank you for the host. How's it going? Good game. I decided to stick with this game after all. Oh, I need to... Go this way. Another red balloon. We're in Berlin right now, so. Hence the reference to red balloons. Got him.
Oh, there's a one-up up there. It's funny, there's a New York level, and when you get to it, um, you run into Run DMC. Plenty of references to their songs, too, during the dialogue. Might be a little cheesy, the game, in terms of uh, its 80s references, but it's, it's pretty cool. Oh, wow, look at this. What is this, Ninja Gaiden? Our party now? Really? Okay. Wanted to see if I could take a screenshot of that. But apparently NVIDIA says this is not a supported game. Bubble pipe. Is that hair metal? Stupid balloon. Video knows all. Yep. Oh, scene has changed. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have shortcuts set up to change scenes, and one of them happens to be the same one for screenshots. Can't see the game, brother. Sorry, Kaninsky. So nobody saw the Ninja Gaiden raid I was at? Get our last checkpoint. Happens to you all the time? I saw that part? Okay. Yeah, I... Obviously it's uh, some kind of reference to Ninja Gaiden. You saw it? It's alright, we're not too far off. There he is. Brad, try and capture him real quick. What was that? Did he just blow up that club? No time to explain, Rad. You have to try and capture him. While well, you have a chance. So... That looked more like Nikki Six. Yes, that's what I was going to say. But wasn't it Omar Gaddafi who um, blew up the club in Berlin in the 80s? So is he like Nikki Six meets Omar Gaddafi? Hey Samuel, how's it going? How's your weekend? No health around here? That's beyond my 80s knowledge. I think that's pretty much what happened. I know Qaddafi blew up a club somewhere. It might have been either Berlin. Yeah, Berlin. Because the downing of the airplane happened to be in Scotland. Alright, we lost the 1-up. Weekend's alright, thanks. How's yours so far? Pretty good. Just relaxing. It got really cold here over the weekend, so... That's why I'm actually wearing a sweatshirt today on stream. It's like 59 degrees Fahrenheit this morning. And I think that's where we're at now. Hopefully we'll get warm again.
Yeah, I can't shoot him. Why are there two ladders here? Oh, for the bits. Okay. How's the air in your area? I heard smoke from California reached as far as the East Coast. Um, it's been hazy here. My wife has been having a lot of tr problems with her um, asthma. I don't know if it's a result of the California wildfires, but my allergies are worse than the fall, and they've really gotten bad this weekend. Because we've dipped below 60 during the night. I think last night it was even in the 40s at some point. So, yeah, same. Yeah, it's just been bad. So it might be a result of that. It may not. Either way, I hope the California wildfires get resolved soon enough. No, he's gone behind some giant wall dividing the city in half. <laughs> Well, I guess you'll just have to reunite with East and West Germany. Rad, tear, that, tear down that wall. Alert alert! There's something here from somewhere else. Oh wow. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here because there's no meter for the boss. Okay, we really got to tear down this wall. See, when the screen turns white, that means his, uh, his batteries are running out. Alright, they got us. we use in our arsenal that might help us here? We don't need the protective casing, so let's up our arc shot to detonate and our blaster. Should work a little bit better. No! Well, allergies are the worst. That's crazy. The smoke has made it across the whole country. Country. I wouldn't be surprised if it's already making it out to sea as well. We also just had Hurricane Sally. Um, I guess this cold air is a remnant of it. So, yeah, it's pretty bad, the smoke. I mean, I've seen pictures of San Francisco, and it looks like it's out of Blade Runner. It's crazy. These may these fires this year might be worse than they were last year. Apparently a gender reveal party is the cause for most of it. And our butts kicked here because I'm not avoiding that blast. seem to spawn from the same spot too. Alright. Oh, we got us again. Berlin is a tough level. A 
let's take this down a notch. Actually, let's take the blaster down a notch. There we go. Doesn't use as much battery power now. <laughs> Thank goodness for these two power-ups here. The uh, two HP medkits. Yep. Thank you, medkits. You know what? I didn't realize I could actually come back and get them. Should probably just take one out. Save the other one for later. Really smart of me. balloon from below. I remember when a gender reveal party was at birth, before ultrasound was decades away. Yep. I saw an interview with the blogger that created the gender reveal party. She urged people to stop having them years ago. Really? I mean, can you do a gender reveal party without burning down half of a state? You know? Like, if you're gonna have pyro and freaking fireworks at a gender reveal party, you're asking for trouble. Like, I know people just throw a colored balloon up in the air, and that's, hey, you know, pink or blue. Because the kid she had after the first gender reveal party turned out to be non-binary. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that. Just do a cake with blue or pink food coloring. Exactly, Garrus. Just throw some balloons in the air. Have somebody skywrite it's a boy or it's a girl. The problem is this top turret. If I can get rid of that top turret, I'll be okay. People just put up a picture on Instagram even nowadays, so... Everyone loves cake. You got that right. Myself included. Don't even throw any candles on it. Just serve the cake. forgot about the sniper. Alright, this is our last chance, otherwise we've got to redo the entire level. Let's keep one med kit behind. For when we need it. Let's be smart about this. This is going to give us full health. We don't need to grab both of them now. Communist oppression likely. Yeah. Whoa, that... What? Completely killed us. It's not made out of cake. That's for sure.
What an awful run. And on our last one, last one up here. Let's hang back for a bit. I gotta take that beam out. Now it won't give us the beam. We want to attack with the beam. The balloons, come on. Hang on. What if I just use the last checkpoint? So we're gonna die anyway, so. All right. Gave us full health. We still have no other rad ray guns left, so. Let's make the most of this. We'll have two med kits in case we need them. done firing that. Hmm. Yeah, all these balloons, gender reveals indeed. I'm gonna have to redo the level now. This is probably the hardest level we've reached so far. Welcome to Berlin, Rad. You're right on the border between the first world and the second. Okay, we get that joke. This is where he blows up the nightclub. Max out our HP. Definitely more than 99 balloons in this this level. Yes, we have to fight hair metal. Let's find him. Hopefully we'll have enough bits to power up our attack. Not even gonna bother with that pace right now. Just wanna keep making, just keep making our way back to where we were. Sometimes when you go to the left, there's like some bonus item or a battery. Enemies do respawn though. a little floaty on the platforming. Like when he jumps, he gets pushed back a little. Never noticed that before this level. There we go, full help. I 
There's a one-up. That's all we need. No! Not really good navigating around all this. Unless they gave us help for being at the checkpoint. I like how the palette actually changed there. That was the first time I saw red on the screen in this game. Um, arc shot, battery, maximum HP. Detective cases what? Draining enemies, environmental hazards, lava, poison, water, etc. Put that at 16. We don't need any backlight, we're not in the dark. All these biddies. one on the right. No, the one on the left took us to the bits. That's where we need to go first. Good. Close to death. But there is a med kit up here. And we do have three one ups, so. Three lives. So we have full power for our gun, I believe, right? No, not our blaster. Let's take down our arc shot and. Put our blaster up. That should help us. Take one. Thank you. Alright, so we're taking down the wall. Berlin wall. having stronger guns unfortunately takes more battery power One shot from the sniper really hurts. Oh, it's these balloons. So the respawning sniper is a problem.
This is like probably a mid boss considered because it's got no. It's got no help bar, and we don't. I don't believe we're gonna actually take out hair metal here. How many more hits does this take? It's these last two blasters, they're gonna be a pain, aren't they? It's their balloons. I hope they're not, like, respawning as we do this. Like their health is regenerating or something. Alright, we got that one. One left. Now it's a good time to get this med kit, right? Got it. Stage clear. So I guess we don't fight hair metal here. Oh no, hair metal got away. A lot of these communists seem really happy we blew up their wall, though. Be careful. From here on out, Brad, now that you're inside the Soviet sphere of influence, things are going to be get, getting tougher. Wonderful. So we either go to Libya or we go to Donsk. Let's go to Libya. Oh no, Rad, you've got some bad news about your plane. Oh god. Please tell me they're not going to blow it up. The flying coach on a transatlantic smoking flight. We'll go on. Tell me your bad news. Remember Hair Metal from Berlin? Well, he's working with the Libyans, and they've hijacked your plane. Oh no. If he's here, then who are we going to bomb in retaliation for Berlin? I'm sure you'll figure something out. Rad, hurry. So we got an airplane level. Great. Luggage is falling on our heads. Or not. Bar cart. Regan is on board. Do not let him get to the cockpit. Metal, this is MIG. I am on my way to intercept Ray Gun over. Hurry, Schnell, he's closing in on myself. first class. Boss battle. You're gonna pay for what you did in Berlin, Hair Metal. This is what you were... This is what you were thinking, Rad. You are trapped in here now. We are taking you to Beirut, or Lockerbie, or Tehran. I have not yet decided. You would be surprised how many options there are for airplane hijackings these days. Brad, do you see that switch behind the right side wall? 
you guys see it. If you can hit it, you'll be able to escape with your jetpack. Wait, I have a jetpack? Yes, Rad, but it's only for critical situations like this. Our testing shows that it's far too powerful for everyday use. Of course, why would we have fun using it? Come on, Nikki Six. Oh, he's singing. He's singing like the banshee he is. No. Got him. All right. Like I said, the boss battles could probably be a little more challenging, but not bad. Now we got a jetpack, and we're fighting a MiG. Nice head, Raygun. It was like so moldy. I'm taking you down next. I've got a jetpack. I'm so sure a battery-powered jetpack versus a MiG-35. Step off, Narva. Looks like a relatively easy fight if we could avoid his, his fire. It might be a stage two, though. Yep. Now he's really coming after us with missiles. Ah. We're not going to survive here. One more hit and we're done. Oh well. Got him. With no help left. Oh, we died in the process? So we killed him, he killed us. Mutual destruction. Not let me get to the cockpit, huh? Oh! Actually, I think if he touches me, uh, it doesn't really do any damage. It's more his missiles and his, uh... His bullets. There we go. Wow, flying is awesome. And I managed to take out this hair metal without us having to bomb Tripoli. Good work, Rad. We were about to start airstrikes. But I guess we don't need to now. There's Gaddafi. This game. Do we go to Donsk or do we go to Heron? Tehran. I want to go to Donsk. Let's see what's there. Let's go to Cape Canaveral. Upgrade. There's 20 levels in the game. I'm pretty sure we're well past the halfway point. When we beat this game, we'll start a new one. The next game is called Semblance. It's just a puzzle platformer. Nothing as intricate as this. Um, let's max out our HP. There we go. Check marks on those um, spots means that we picked up all the batteries we could pick up in that area. 
and we've completed it. If it doesn't have a check mark and it's solid white, that means we completed it. So, watch your step, it says. Whoa, what's going on here? Looks like a massive workers' uprising against Soviet wage suppression. Help them out. Wow, you can tell that all from here? Okay. Watch our step, it said. Not saying it. Oh, okay. Electrical currents. See? A little bit floaty on his chumps. And sometimes if you jump and shoot, I guess the force of the bullets flying forward push him back a little. See, that's a normal jump. When he's in the air, he flies back a little. When he shoots. I don't know if I'm digging that or what, but he just died. That was an accident. I wanted to see if there was like... And some kind of like power up or something there. Or battery. Oh! Wow. Definitely need that protective casing. from here. Without getting ourselves killed. There's got to be some health somewhere. Not at the checkpoint, I see. Of course, we gotta go right. You must be the famous rad ray gun. That's right, but who are you? A friend. Against the Soviets, Rad. Just an electrician working here in the shipyards. An electrician? Maybe you can help me out. Absolutely, just stick close to me and I'll try to protect you from all these dangerous power lines. Get some health. I'll take it. Keep the health coming. He's gonna keep dropping health on me? That's great. over. Ah. Alright, come over here. Give me some help. Red, I work the cranes here. Hop on and I'll give you a lift. Yeah, but now we're not getting any help. not landing there. They're like falling off the platform instead. There we go. Alright, wait for it. There's a battery down below. I don't think I'm going to reach that. All right, we got our friend here to give us help. Another one, please. Wonder if this guy is Link Walensa, because we're in Poland after all. 
former Polish union leader who eventually communism fell in Poland and took over the country as their leader. They voted him in, actually. Uh, give me a second here. It's allergies. I go back upstairs, will he throw me health packs? I got it. We have no one ups. Can't hit this guy. Oh well. Let's continue with Gons. Gons. taking any chances here. Oh! Alright, here's our friend who's gonna give us the med packs. A med pack. Oh, we don't need one. Oh, we did. All right. There's the checkpoints. I mean, I could get on there to get that battery pack, but it's not worth risking his life for it. You're giving us some help. There we go. So I think technically if we did climb that ladder again, We'd be able to get more health from him. This one on the bottom? I don't know. I don't want to enrage him. Let's just walk past him. Nice work, Rad. But to save Poland, you'll have to get to Warsaw. Follow the river, and it will lead you there. No more help packets. Gotta put our protective casing on. Oh, we got it on. Oh, the Little Mermaid's back. Just 
gotta avoid getting hit by them, I guess. Oh, this is... This is BS. So that's like the Pope Mobile? What is that? I think it's the Pope Mobile. So the Pope at that time was Polish. We're learning in a video game. Look at that. Zomo. Want no part of him. A little mermaid statue. This is tough. We are definitely going to get hit trying to take him out. Keep trying to... Lucky there, we need some help. Got him. Where's Lech Valenso when you need to help? Little secret area. battery pack. Okay, cool. I don't want to find out where it leads out to. I want to stay on this side. Ooh, a health pack. And we're taking on Little Mermaid again. Oh, I'm so over you, Rad Ray again. You're ruining the whole eastern block, hanging out with that lame electrician. There we go. Whoa, lightning. What? She's not that bad. Let her boss down. <laughs> we can't get the bits, though. So. We tried. You got the wire guard optical targeting system. Uh, Alright, so this is the second part of the gun that we're building. This bonus chance, I think, is bogus, personally. I don't see it ever working. New palette. Okay, so let's go to Tehran now. This is a major military conflict. The Iraqi dictator is launching an attack on Iran. All right, let's go stop him. Hang on, Rad. Iran is backed by the Soviets. So we're helping the invasion? That's right, good luck. Yeah, we were, things were so confusing in 80s politics in America. They're dropping bombs on us. The invasion forces approaching the city take up defensive positions.
mod. These are supposed to take us to like hidden areas, but... Guess not, it just took us back to the beginning. So now we gotta move all the way to the right. Enemies respawn. No! Got a med pack, and then we lost our health as soon as we picked it up. some help. Keep going. Oh, we died? I didn't even touch him. That's so bogus. The hit detection in this game, eh. Not a one, right? fires on an arch. So, and as soon as we leave the screen, we're dead. Because they respawn. Terrible. Let's max out our HP, let's max out our blaster, or rather our arc shot. That should help. Easier to take out tanks now for us. There's help there, too. I didn't realize I could take him out with a slide. That's cool. What the heck? Magic... Pegasus. Now look at that architecture too. We got a one up here. Extra battery power. Nice. Whoa. Just keep giving us help. That's all that matters. And there's got to be more checkpoints too. Uh, 
where do we go to next? Oh, we just keep walking right. Bring up more RPGs to hold the line tanks to the lower levels. Nice. We avoided. The tanks are going to be on a lower level. We'll go through the top. We'll avoid them all. Kid up there, I don't really need right now. But hey, let's take that out just in case we need it. Con rads broken through, and we've got chemical weapons. Let's use them. Chemical weapons. It's a good place to get bits. Creatures they are. Dropping eggs on us, too. I'm not gonna read what that says yet. That's the problem. Once you go off the screen, they come back. Oh no, Rad. We need to get out of there fast. What's going on? It's an Iraqi gas attack. But I'm on their side. Why would they attack here? Well, the guy in charge, there doesn't have to there doesn't have the best record of not attacking his own people with chemical weapons. I probably should have mentioned that before I sent you in. Worry about it later, Rad. Run for cover. Alright. Wow. Got the battery. There we go. We're in a cave somewhere, I guess. Stage clear. You never get that bonus. I think that bonus is bogus. Okay, so we go to Gorbachev's house or Afghanistan? Probably go to Gorbachev's house. Mm -hmm. 
take him out. What's this place? This is the home of an infamous arms dealer, Rad. We'll need his help once we assemble the BGM-2. Gonna ask Gaddafi for help? That's not him. Uh, Mr. Reagan. How can I help you? I'm not Gaddafi. I was thinking uh, more Saddam Hussein, but this is neither. So. Nothing right now, Gorba. Oh, Gorbachev. We're working on assembling our anti communist weapon. Uh, I think he was talking to me, Mr. President. Oh, right, right. Of course, of course. Is it Gorbachev? I don't. I'm like confused here. Of course, of course. At any rate, once you have assembled the ultimate weapon, bring it to me and I will. will show us how to use it to defeat the communists and win the Cold War. Yes, right. Good day, Mr. Raygun. Oh, and Mr. President? I don't trust this guy. Not one bit. So we have to go to the other location, grab what we need there, and then come back here. Afghanistan. So we're close to the end of the game, I think. Game pretty fast. Three hour game. All right, Rad, time to get the Soviets out of Afghanistan. We'll be helping the Mujahideen Islamic militia. You know what? Maybe just don't tell me about who we're helping here. Mujahideen? I can see their tank columns now. These guys look kind of scary. Don't worry, Red. Soviets are bankrupt and beaten down for fighting here. They call Afghanistan the graveyard of empires. Every nation that has ever invaded here has gone into decline afterwards. The Greeks, the Mongols, the British, the Soviets... Invading Afghanistan is the most foolish... Alright, alright, I get it. Panjshir Valley. Now we're in the caves. Okay. So this is where we need our backlight. Battery detector enabled. That's not really what I was going for, but hey. There's a one up there too, and I missed it. I mean, there's a battery nearby, but... Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm gonna make it, at least. The lighting certainly makes this harder. I'm not trying to backtrack to get the bits as much, because they just respawn enemies when I do. Oh, these are spiders. At least they're dropping medkits, from what I see. Are we just coming down from there? Confused. Look at that. The battery must be up here. 
Keep tracking upward. There's the batter. Went up the wrong side. See if we can get that help. We're losing all our health trying to get it. That's a problem. We go up this way already? I don't think we did. I wonder if, like, the last enemy of this level is going to just be a giant tank. I can certainly see that happening. Battery. We're a gorilla soldier. And the lighting back up. Wow, too much backlight. This has to be where the boss is. Yep. Ah, oh, the infamous Rad Ray Gun. Do you have the slightest idea what you're doing here? You gotta be really careful. This is our only life left. Yeah, I'm gonna kick you out of Afghanistan once and for all. And to what end, Rad? What do you know of this conflict? Or of this country? Not much. All I know is that I've blown up plenty of tanks, and you're like any of them from what I can see. See, I told you, the, uh, the boss was going to be a tank. Insightful as always, Rad, but perhaps you'll find on more than what may meet your eyes at first glance. He's a Transformer, Transformer reference. Careful, Rad, that tank is agile enough to dance around copyright infringement, and it looks vulnerable, invulnerable to your weapons. Try to focus on a soft underbelly. Soft on the belly, my butt. I think we can only hit him when he's in uh, robot form. Deceivicon. Now I get it. I thought they meant Decepticon. Oh, we're getting our butts kicked here. Come on. When does he change form? There we go.
Ah, I keep getting hit by him. There we go. I'm good as dead. I'm gonna have to go through this whole level again. This level is tough. See, I guess I gotta be in the air for that. Gotta replay Afghanistan now. We've had only one life since this whole one. Not bad. get back there. The tank can be taken out. It's just... I need to avoid when he shoots his missile. Like, I gotta be off the ground, I think, to avoid it altogether. We'll get there. All the help he took from me. I'm glad he dropped something. What's up here? There was nothing up here originally? That's not. All the power-ups are to our left, I think. This is the way to the second part of the level. So first things first, we go up here, we get the battery. And there's some health over there, which is... Oh no, this is the health. Vits are what we really want. Let's get the bits. And we can get an upgrade. There we go. I don't know if we'll actually start the second game today. Let's see where we're at in maybe a half hour. Like the music, Samuel? It's not bad. They did a good job with the music. Even Bleed. Bleed had decent music too when I played that. Bleed and Bleed 2, the sequel. Let's 
Keep going. There we go. That should be enough to upgrade him. Well, we need like eight more to upgrade him. Boss battle should be coming up soon. Yep. Let's do this. Hopefully this gives us the last part of that gun. There we go. Gonna turn into tank, he's gonna bum rush us. We got this guy. This time we got him. Reject transformer. Beat him. Stage is clear. Great work, Rad. We finally brought peace and stability to the Middle East, once and for all. I don't know, Mr. President. The Russians are gone, but I don't feel like we've saved this country. That's for sure. But all work out, the Mujahideen have been so thankful, and they're sure to be a great ally from now on. You say so. I'm so wrong. Hey, that transforming that transforming robot was pretty cool. Can we get those back in the U.S.? Let's see what I can do. Alright, so... Opal. Opal. Opal India. Go there. Rad, there's been a terrible leak from a chemical plant as part of a legal settlement. We need to go stop it. Oh no, what happened? Who's responsible for this? There's the leak. Well, it's owned by an American company, so... Probably the Soviets again. Of course, it's always them, isn't it? It was us this time. This game's a lot longer than I expected it to be. Right, now we got chemical gas to worry about. We we're supposed to power this up, okay. This is not easy, and that thing's gonna fall right on us. Fall down, fall down. There we go. Hey look, it's Red Ray Gun. I mean it's stopping. That's why this guy's wearing a gas mask, okay. Can I get some health. There's health. Not enough, though. It's barely any. Ah, there's the battery. Okay. No more dead. Alright. We have one more life.
wonder if he'll survive long enough to find me in here. Game is getting harder, I'll say that. Wonder if the devs from the early days, Atari and NS Genesis eras, could have imagined how far modern games have become. Um, I mean, the big AAA ones and the how well games made in their style would become in the modern era. Yeah, that's a good question, actually. I don't think they ever imagined, like, you know, like these big 3D games that we have now, the AAA games. Um, I also don't think they would have thought that, you know, we'd be paying homage to that era of games uh, for so long and, and so often and making such cool retro games now. I mean, there's so many good ones. And you know what? There's a huge market for retro, so... Uh-oh. I don't think I'm protected now from the uh, sludge that's on the bottom there. That's not good. Am I even going the right way here? We're close to death. I don't want to have to repeat this entire level, but we might end up being that way. How do I get to that one up? I need it. I mean, I think you could you gradually saw the advancements of graphics. Not so much in the consoles at the beginning, but like in the PC era of games. And then to take what you were doing on the PC and be able to put it on a console like the Xbox and the PS4 and so on, it's just... it's mind-blowing. I mean, remember what Pong was. It was a huge game back then. Even Pac-Man. Like, Pac-Man was an advancement over Pong, so... It really is, yeah. It's mind-blowing. I can only imagine what games are going to be in the future. I don't think we'll ever see that drastic of an increase in graphics anymore. I think we're beyond that. Am I going the right way, or am I just going up here for help? Oh, boss! Like, right now, we're not even... We're doing, like, real-time ray tracing. Okay. Like, I could live without that. It's nice, right? What are we doing, 4K graphics? Oh, more pixels on the screen? Unless you have a 4K TV, which, you know, it's gonna look good on that. But, I mean, you can't get any better than this unless you're controlling real people. As a wannabe hero like you can't help but try and save the day, Rad. I know I get to see how long you'll last in a room full of hydrogen cyanide. Oh, that's not good. Because... <sighs> oh, not the hydrogen cyanide. Can't seem to get away from them, too. Poisonous starts of his.
We got him. We got him. Four more hits. We got him. All right, another boss down. I hope we finally got the last piece of that gun. Nice work, Rad. You saved millions of dollars in funds. And probably a lot of people, too. Oh, that too. And uh, speaking of toxic gas, if anyone asks, we're not friends with Iraq anymore. Yeah, I don't think so. We're at life like that drastic of a change can't be matched from console to console. No. It's, it's even on the PC, it's like, it's all about pixels on the screen now. And refresh rates and... Like, even the ray tracing thing, do we really need that? The real-time ray tracing, like... Is that gonna make or break a game? Beijing. So we go to China now. Yeah, we're not anywhere near the end of this game, are we? Rad, the targeting system for the toe is located here. Thousands of students are fighting the communists. Are the students invading another country? Are they violating human rights? Nope, they're remarkably peaceful, especially considering all the government soldiers and tanks that are shooting at them. All right, let's smash them, Soviets. Actually, they're not part of the USSR. They're a different form of communism. The two countries have very different outlooks and interpretations of Marxism. No, no, that's okay. Let's uh, pulverize the people, Republic. Never mind. <laughs> Good history lesson here. Learning in a video game. It's not good. You don't want to learn in a video game. And I think they've gotten to the point for now where, like, what we were doing on the Xbox 360 with pre-rendered cutscenes, now we could do in real time. So that's the big improvement. Yeah, upgrades are needed, but if mind-blowing the tech that we have and the worlds we can create, indeed. Remember when we did the 3D craze? Oh, we we're gonna have 3D video games and such. And what not, and it was like, whatever. 3D was the worst fad they tried to throw on us in terms of video games. Hey, Tikaru, how's it going, man? Did you get uh, pretty far on Jack 2? Hope you got past that mission I saw you on. That game is really tough. It's a game that I played, I beat, but I know at some point, yeah, I think, I think so. The game says it's, I'm on 67%, good. I think when I got to that mission that you got stuck on today when I was on your stream, that's when I stopped, put the game away for a month, and then came back and finally beat it. Should be quite close, good. I'm curious about the third game. I own it, but I never played it. I'm gonna go back and play Precursor. Um, first. Shouldn't be as hard. The third game is more like... It's more like the, uh... The second game. Taking a lot of damage here. What the heck? Come on. Now we need help. There's a med kit right there. Look at that. There's crazy button smashing mission right now after the cruiser mission. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also um there's another race where you have to pick up markers in the water. And it's, that's pretty hard too. 
Let me tell you, that game is one of the hardest platformers ever. No, oh, why'd you... Ah. Trying to take this thing out. I don't want it to fall on me. Plus there's a battery up there. Got it. Let's leave the battery alone. Yeah, that's not why I kind of like not played the third one. And I should have started with the precursor one, so... How's this game, though? It's not bad. I didn't like it at first, but then I figured out how to use the enemies, so... The Civicon. I knew you'd be here. With this much heavy artillery hardware around. So this is like a Transformer. I like this game. I don't think it's as good as the other two games I played earlier, like Bleed and Bleed 2. But it's good. There's a lot to it. You know, a lot of dialogue, unfortunately, but uh, it's not bad. Yeah, and then we'll crush those protesters. I don't think you have the guts to run over somebody who actually stands up to you. Let's hope not. Same battle as before, right? It's faster, too. Man. I can't get away from him. It's too fast. This is way too fast now. Whoa, we're done. Yep. It's hard, it's getting harder. No way to get out of this power. So we have only one, one more for fighting him. Um, let's put all our battery power here and here. Gotta be in the air when those bombs like land. There's not enough health. I might have to get upgrades. To upgrade. This this is getting tough, especially this last boss. So let's go back to the United States and upgrade. The last piece of the weapon against Russia, the Soviet Union, is it in China. We'll upgrade our battery, we'll upgrade our health. We don't uh, we only have enough for an upgrade though, I think. What do I have? That's at max. Max out our battery. Let's 
max out our blaster. It's a nice game. I like it. It's simple. But... This last tank battle is going to be a pain. Basically going around the world, trying to take out communism. Alright, so now we're in China during the Tiananmen Square era. We might not start a game after this. I might be like, this is it. Start Semblance tomorrow. Hikaru, you'll like Semblance if you look it up. Um, basically a uh, puzzle platformer. That. That's like too much. Simple isn't a bad thing. Just look at Mega Man. That's true. This is very much like Mega Man. This part is ridiculous, so let's get the heck out of here because there's just nothing but tanks here. The one up. Let's get that. Some help. Semblance looks good? Yeah, I picked it and I was like, this is something Tika Room might be interested in. So I'll, let's play this. I would say I got it in the set, so. Come on. Saved ourselves right here. I don't know if we're gonna make it though because we got no help left. Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah, the only thing that I'm a little worried about with Semblance is that you don't have to do all the puzzles in order. So I'm wondering how it's laid out. Because usually games like that and platformers, they're kind of linear. So who knows? Why does he keep hitting me? figure out how to get past this boss. This boss is too hard. I might have to refer to a walkthrough. Actually... Let's try our ability to jump backwards too. I have no clue how to beat this guy. He's just overpowered. I 
maxed out all my health, so... Let's see if there's a way to beat him. Civicon. Super rad ray gun. I bet you this game doesn't even have like a walkthrough or anything. Oh, Giant Bomb has a walkthrough, but that means it's a video walkthrough. <laughs> No walkthroughs. Battery location guide? That's not gonna help me. The N um, men square. Took the game off Steam. It's only available through Itch.io. Uh, there's no walkthrough for getting past this. Most unknown indies do not get walkthroughs. Yeah, I figured there'd be at least something for the bosses, but. Oh, it's still on Steam? They said they were going to take it down. I'm looking at it right now. Okay. My bad. Then what I read was maybe they took it down and they put it back up. Not even coming close to hurting them. There has to be something to help me here. impossible to beat. This is going to be a problem. Let's check on YouTube. Somebody has to have a playthrough. Gentlemen. Square. Showing me real footage of Tiananmen Square now. Falklands, we've been through. We did that. Did this part. We need part nine. Nope. Sorry, this is taking a bit, but there's got to be a way to get past this boss. And. There he is. Okay. 
He died a couple of times too doing it. I'm on YouTube looking this up. He died many times doing this. So what did he... He went back to Cape Canaveral. He must have upgraded him. battery. Part 13. Back to Beijing. Alright, here's the battle. Having a hard time with this boss. Extremely hard. Hardest boss in the game. Probably the final boss? I'm sure, we gotta fight somebody in Russia, right? He just keeps dying. Watch this guy die a million times. When does he finally get past him? I think he got past him. But how? Persistence, that's what it is. Let's pause this. Let's do our best. Let's start at the last checkpoint. Because we're about to die, and we did die. Avoid getting hit. There you go. Avoid the falling bombs. So close to this. You're doing so close. Got him. All right. I don't know how we beat him, but we beat him. Stage clear. So you couldn't even bring yourself to run me over. I admit it. We're the good guys, and you know it. 
Perhaps you're just a young idealistic robot going wherever your country needs and doing whatever they ask of you to protect it. That's right, and if you weren't such an evil communist, you'd understand that. They did say you don't see many shades of gray. Interesting. Interesting. I believe this ID, what we came for, this is what we came for? Yeah, that's the launcher. You did it, Rad. Now build the BMG 71 toe. That's the weapon we needed. Head to Gorba's house. Don't know what to do next. Yoke? Yokoi's Island? What is this? Bring your bits. Alright, it's just another place where we could buy stuff, I guess. Gorba's house. Welcome, Mr. Raygun. I see you have assembled a BGM-2 at last. Yep, so how do you use this to defeat your, the Soviet Union? Oh, this is not for defeating the Soviets. This is for selling to the Iranians. What? We're selling the missiles to the Iranians? But we're just fighting with them. Things have gotten more complicated, Rad. The Lebanese are holding a bunch of hostages to make sure we don't bomb them. What? Why would we bomb the Leb bomb Lebanon? We're blowing up our embassy and the marine barracks in Beirut? Don't you watch the news, Rad? Well, why did they do that? I don't know, Rad. Israelis are using Christian militias to displace the PLO, and... This story is very political and very complicated. I don't care for it too much. I would have rather it had been just about, like, the 80s and 80s video games. Like the Game Boy. But... Look, do you want an in-depth history of Middle Eastern conflicts, or do you want to go around and blow up some more communist robots? Um, well, I... Let's go with it, Rad. In about 30 years, I'm sure none of this will matter to anyone anyway. Here is your payment, Mr. Reagan. Please send my regards to the President. I'm sure Hezbollah will do everything in its power to release their hostages. Oh no, don't bring that money anywhere near me, Rad. We need to take it straight to Nicaragua and keep me out of it. Like, seriously? I don't like this, Mr. President. Can't kill him? What am I supposed to do at this point? We have the weapon, there's no other areas to go into. Dr. Y's lab. Okay, this is another entrance to his lab. Right, I can't believe you made it this far. This is my home lab, so I can give you upgrades for much cheaper. And I have no money. Protective case. Do that. Another battery. Take it. One up. There's some other things I've worked on over the years. Wait, some of this stuff looks like... Metroid. Nintendo D-pad. What else has you worked on? Bonus chance never works. So what's new here? I don't really... Oh, we gotta bring it to Nicaragua, they said. Okay. So let me get this straight. We sold those weapons to Iran. Right. And in exchange, they're freeing American hostages in Lebanon. Right. 
Now we're given the money to fund anti-communist guerrillas in Nicaragua? Right. And this is all legal? So many questions, Rad. Just overthrow the Nicaraguan government, and I'm sure it will all make sense. Okay. The level we couldn't finish before. Hey, Rad, you got the money? Yeah, I got it. What's the story here? A bunch of communists calling themselves the FSLN took over. The local government president says you've got some experience on overthrowing governments. <laughs> By the way, have you ever played a Lundra for the PSX? No. Um, it's a really good game. That's one I want to eventually play. It's really cool. Yeah, I suppose so. I used to play tons of JRPGs back in the day, but now I just don't have the time for big ones. But I wouldn't mind giving a Lundra a try because I know it's not one of the longer ones. Well, the jungle's crawling with Sandinistas, landmines, and even more Soviet hardware. If you can just break through their lines, we'll handle the rest of what needs to get done. Alright, let's go. It never ends, does it? Wow, we got torn up there. It's getting even harder. Lundra isn't really a JRPG, it's more like Zelda, which is super complex, dark story. So like a action JRPG maybe? Um it's similar to Crystalis too. I don't know if you've ever played Crystalis on the uh NES. Is it the NES or the SNES? Great game. I need health. Don't think I played it? Check out Crystalis. Really good game. Please give me health. I got one life left, but... Nothing over here. Oh, I'm close to death. to death. I'm not sure what to do here. Crystalis was recommended to me uh, as a game I should play, and it's a really good game. I'm dead. We tried. Unfortunately, all that's here is an extra battery. Where's my health? No health anywhere. Not that we need it right now, but it would be nice if I got a one-up to it.
Kind of similar, I guess, in a super low budget kind of way. Yeah, I mean, it's for the error that it is. That's a one up. Nice. The story is really good, and the fighting, you know, is really thought out. I recommend it. If you like Alundra, you know, you might like something like that, I think. The story was really good. And I could kind of see where they got the idea for, uh... uh I missed that halt. The fallout. <laughs> it's basically the future, and it was after, like, the apocalypse, and he comes out of, like, his... his hiding place, the guy, the main character, so... I wonder where they got the fallout story from. Just an idea. I really wish I didn't lose that, that health. There's no way for me to get back up to where the health was. Ah, health. Nice. I think the JRPG I'm going to play next is more of an action JRPG. Um, I want to play Soul Blazer. And uh, it's sequels. Let's see if I actually get to that. Maybe not this year, but... Killing women and children, aren't we? Why? We're all running away. This is not right. Not even attacking us. What are you doing? We told you, Rad, fighting communists. You're not on the Soviet side, are you? Those aren't communists. Those are... Communists are evil robots. You're shooting innocent people. That sounds like something a communist would say. Uh-oh. Oh god, we're fighting the guys from Contra. Look at this. Contra guys, let's go. That means Camilio's in the channel. Camilio, how's it going? At least they don't have spread gun. Yes, thankfully. Alright, one down. Oh no, I killed the innocent people. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, they got spread. There you go. There's just spread. I'm good. I'm, uh, getting close to the end of this game, I hope. I wasn't supposed to play it the entire stream, but... We just saved Nicaragua in the 80s. Hooray! Are you finished with um, Fallout 2 by chance? I'm just curious. Ready for another mission, Rad? You know about the Angolan, Angolan Civil War? Uh, not very much, Mr. President. I don't think I want to go to on another mission. Never get a bonus here. NA? Yeah. Oh, I, I just wanted to see if you uh, finished 
Fallout 2. The end is reachable, but lots of quests to finish here and there. Gotcha. Yeah, we always want to do the side quests. It's all good. So where am I supposed to go to next? Because nothing new seems to have opened up. You mentioned Angola. I guess I'm supposed to go to Cape Renapple. What's this? Extra battery? Chest all the music here. I really like this one. So one more game to go here, and then we're going to play um, Blue Shift. If I don't get the chance to, we'll wait to play Opposing Force, because then October starts and we'll start with the horror games. Hey, Dr. Uh, y, um, I don't think I want to go to Angola or Dr. Any anywhere, really. All this fighting doesn't seem to be helping anyone anywhere. I know, Rad. You were never meant for war and violence like this. Really, but one of my arms is literally a gun. It's a blaster, Rad. It was originally meant to throw tiny ping pong balls that people could hit with their with a small paddle. Tell the truth, Rad. I never meant to build robots for fighting. I started work as a toy maker. It just turns out that people like toys that shoot things and blow stuff up. All right. Well, either way, I'm tired of just doing whatever the president wants. I don't want to trust him anymore. I don't even care who wins this dumb war. It seems like the Americans are just as bad as the Soviets anyway. Well, Rad, in the real world, there aren't always clear-cut lines between good guys and bad guys. The Soviet Union is a repressive dictatorship that's done horrible things to its own people and to others, but the president is willing to do anything to destroy the Soviets at any cost, even if it means doing terrible things ourselves. Well then, why don't we just attack Moscow instead of running around the world messing things up for everyone else? Excuse me. It's a complicated situation, Rad. Both of these sides have powerful weapons we don't know about yet. Besides, Russia is surrounded by an impenetrable iron curtain. Can't even get into the country without finding a way over it. We can discuss it later, Rad. For now, you should rest here. You've been through a great deal. Okay. Alright, before we do anything else... That was at the other base, where you had that one up. Can't buy anything now. Or was it up here? We had like some items we could pick up. Damage boost, agility boost. over here again? Besides the stereo? Wait, what's all this? Fan art? Oh cool, this is Photos that people uh, drew of the game. Cool. Little hidden Easter egg.
just info about who we're fighting. Alright, let's get out of here and try to finish this game now. We don't trust the president. And a couple of more bosses. Everybody is being so weird about everything. If the Soviets are evil, then we should stop them. It's simple as that. All these little missions around the world make it seem like we're the evil empire here, instead of them. If I could just find a way to get to Moscow, I bet I could end this whole Cold War once and for all. So we may be coming up on the end. Hmm, what's that say? Space Shuttle. Launch Platform. Rockets are for orbital space research only. Please do not use to fly over Iron Curtain and or invade foreign nations. Thank you. Oh. Wait just a second. That gives me an idea. Let's use it for that reason. This time it worked. Opened up a new path for us too. Mirror. So we're on the space station? Take it out, satellites. There's a lot of junk out here. A little Space Invaders reference is cool. All right, made it inside. We gotta fight the cosmonauts. Great, Rad. You'll need to get open the airlocks to get to the station control room. Cosmonaut. Sweet little bonus. How do I get up there? Looks like the old 80s MTV logo where the spaceman had the MTV on the mask, I think it was. I think they use that for their music award statue. The airlock is just a head, but you'll have the head to the upper lower branches of the station to get it open. Okay, so let's go downwards first. Let's keep going. Keep going. Oh, there's no way through there. He's gonna respawn anyway, so... And we missed the battery. So door number one. In search of followers, Primes? No, we're not. Damn you. I'm gonna need to hire a, uh... Hire. I'm gonna need to find a, uh, mod, I think. The bots don't quit.
don't think it matters which way we go up. Alright, now for the top part. This guy throws flags at us. Look at that. to fight everybody. Ah, oh, got hit by a flag. That did not go too well. And there's no life or health anywhere on here. Fighting our way through. Oh, we got a one up. Nice. I'll take it. Here we go. There's the second switch. And we died. Good thing we got the one up. Where is the airlock switch? Because, like, it's not here. There it is. Boom. Okay, now we should be able to go through. Stop with the flags, man. Stop with the flags. Alright, we made it through. We should be able to get to Russia now. Hopefully. Yeah, I don't think we're going to start Semblance today. We might start it tomorrow. We will start it tomorrow. The only thing I hope is semblance is not overly long. Go that way? No. It should be no more than four hours. Keep going downwards. And drop some help. No. Oh, screw it. We're dead. Boss fight, okay. Who are we fighting? 
Now, who are we dying against? You're in the navigation module now. Blow it up to bring down the space station. Don't we have some sort of giant space laser we could use instead? I think the president tried that already. It didn't exactly work out. Of course it didn't. Okay, so I gotta stay in close and just keep firing at it. Game. Keep hitting it. This is an easy battle. Keep firing at it when the door opens, staying close, you need new damage. It's pretty much an easy battle, I hope. There's no, like, phase two or phase three. We're gonna start semblance tomorrow. Hopefully it's good. I have faith in it. That's why I chose it. Alright, we can beat this. Stage clear. So this should be the end of the game right here, I hope. We're going straight to Siberia. We can't go to Moscow yet? Seriously? Hold on. Let's get an upgrade. Actually, you know what? Do something cool. Let's change the palette. Try another one. So we have them all, pretty much. Real boy. Like a virtual boy? Inverted. Game attack. Let's keep it at orange. Brad, I can't believe you made it this far. This is my home lab, so I can give you upgrades for cheaper. Go with agility, detective casing. That's it. Should be a one up up here, I hope. There's the one up. Alright, so Siberia. This game should be close to being finished. High damage enemies, heavy combat. Alright. Great work, Rad. You're going to land somewhere in Siberia. Finally, on the road to Moscow. Roads. Where you're going, they don't have roads. If you can find the Trans-Siberian Railroad, though, you should be able to follow that towards Moscow. You still gotta make it to Moscow. Piece of cake. Or not. You know what? <laughs> Let's change the palette back, because this is like too much. Classic. There we go. It's a little bit better to look at now. Did I just die? I think I died. Not sure why. Spotted an enemy in your area. if we fall too far behind and go off the screen. We, uh... We lose our, our life. We die.
hard to see what I'm aiming at. right there. I'll take it. Got him. Second checkpoint. Ah, oh, heavy artillery too. Barely making it alive. There we making our way through here without getting ourselves killed. I mean, even if we do die, we'll continue at a checkpoint. It's fine by me, but... Well, now we're dead. Got him. Let's keep going. Another battery. Gotta be another checkpoint coming up. There it is. I'd be surprised if this part had a boss. Yes. That's it, we're at the front of this train, so where do we go now? Oh, there is a boss. Okay, it's the plane again. Oh, I'm sure you can think take me on. I'm the most choice pilot in the world. I beat you over Tripoli, and I'll beat you here too. We're as good as dead. We gotta restart. We'll get there. The problem with this guy is he's super hard. The 
Bob's away. There you go. Just keep dropping them. Oh, great. These graphics are not very, very cool right now. My eyes are just freaking out. We got this, we got this. Got him. Stage clear, let's go to Moscow, let's end this game. Oh. Repeat? <laughs> this game never ends. Uh oh, that building is on fire. I don't know, Rad. This place looks dangerous. It's a nuclear reactor. You may want to keep heading to Moscow. Someone could be hurt, though. I w it wouldn't take long, and how bad can it be? Right? Welcome to Chernobyl. Yeah, we definitely need to, uh... Make sure we have protective, uh, covering. So how do we get out of here? That's it. Far so good. Those floating things will stick to you and drain your health if you touch them. The protective case will help against them, but once they're on, on you, you'll have to use your dash to get away. I turned my dash off, so let's not get them on us. Backdash. Um, no, you don't. Now we could advance. Got it. All right, we're almost at the power plant. And robot dogs now? Moscow has to be after this. Come on. Just keep going. There's help down there. What is going on at Chernobyl? This is Soviet Central Command. What is happening here? Oh man, how do I get downstairs? 
Taking care of Rad Raygun on my own since none of your generals can handle him. Is there a way down there? I don't think there is. There's health. There's another battery. I'm not sure how to get there. Stop at this at once. You're going to expose thousands of people to radiation to stop one enemy? Insane. that one. All the upgrades in this level. We're getting ourselves killed too. Med kit. No, not. I wanted the med kit. Seriously? Needed the med kit. Joke's on you, I don't even know the meaning of nuclear. We're dead. We're dead. Never gonna make it past here. We're dying. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Yeah, forget this. We're dead. Battery near here, I'm not worried about. Do we go left? Do we go right? Hold on. There has to be some energy somewhere. I have to start this all over again. Checkpoints don't really matter at this juncture because I'm pretty dead here. It'd be nice if they gave me some help. We're down for the count now. That's for sure. We're dead. Alright, we'll have to play this over. This mission. I don't think we're going to start in our game. Let's see if we actually finish this one. We're in Papreet. If Moscow isn't after this, I'm going to stop streaming and we'll finish it on tomorrow's stream. And Semblance we'll get to after. So I'm going for Monday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, technically streams, stream week starts on Friday. Let's do that. We'll do Friday streams, we'll do Saturday night, we'll do Sunday during the day, and then Monday. That's how the schedule's gonna go from now on. We're back to that. It's just easier for me.
Yeah, this was tough. Can't argue with it, and um... The last several levels have just been impossible. Not like we haven't gotten past them, but they're just so tough. And he warns us about the floating ions. So, I believe as long as we have bits, we can keep continuing in this game. Wow, it bounces off there. Alt is very important here. So far, this and Beirut have been the two hardest areas for us to get past. get down there, is there? There's two items there, and I don't know how to get in there. the first checkpoint of many. There's going to be plenty of checkpoints here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I was trying to avoid that. Fire again. Nothing we could have done. We could have dropped down. No! We missed. I'm not missing that med kit this time again. We needed that. dead. We don't get out of here soon. There's a checkpoint somewhere here? your time. I think it's best to take these out. They might come back to haunt us later on.
about it. We're back here again. Really need some health. Missing all the bits, that's fine by me. Down we go. Checkpoints, but what's... Got a little bit of help there, but I'm gonna regret going down this way, ain't I? Oh, there's a battery. Let's take it. I need that. Keep going. We got the flag here. Let's avoid the enemies as much as we can. Yo. And yes, there was an amusement park and a Ferris wheel in Paprit when Chernobyl exploded. Historical lesson right there. See, I hate this half screen, half screen thing. It's like, just scroll up normally. We can cross over too, right? Yeah, we can. Well, there's nothing on the other side. When the ladder ends, then you really walk over. Alright, we're gonna put an end to this now. This level is definitely gonna have a boss, and it's gonna be right above here. Watch. Yep, I told you. Why else would they give us a health kit right there? Rooster. What am I supposed to do with this guy? What are you doing? Blowing up a nuclear reactor in your own country? Why? Because Rad Medvedev, Medved has gone soft, and I'm sick of you Americans acting like you own the world. When they find you here, Peter, after the reactor blows, Peter. After the reactor blows, Medved's whole reform movement will go right out the window. And we'll finally have a leader who's not going to sit around and wait for America to attack us. Well, when I'm done with you, it'll be an anarchy in the Ukraine. Um. Okay. Keep firing at him. Oh, he can club us too. I can't hit him with my secondary shot. I don't know why. I can't angle it right. Oh, he hits it like it's a baseball. Okay, just attack him normally. Pretty much got him. He's down. Beat him. There we go, the epic battle. Whoops. Now I gotta beat him in the air.
Alright, as long as we stay above them. Oh. Splat. Still have coffee here. I gotta beat him in the amount of time that's left. Seriously? Son of a... That's why it's so easy. Let's go back to the last checkpoint and try this again. If that's the case, then I want my blaster to be max. Get the battery max. Protective casing's fine. We don't need any black backlight. Black light. Black light. Okay. We got him. Nope. We don't. And we died. I gotta keep track of time. We got this, we got this, come on. Let's keep hitting him. Yeah, we did it. All right, barely made it. Stage clear. Now can we go to Moscow and beat the game? Hey, Dr. Wiley, I feel funny. It's all that radiation. Rad, there was a, th that was the core of a nuclear reactor. You got radiation poisoning just like you get from a fallout of a nuclear bomb. Okay, I just need to lay down for a minute. I'm afraid that won't help, Rad. Those effects just don't go away quickly. Rad, can you hear me? Rad! World over. Rad, you have to wake up. Everyone is counting on you. What? Doctor Y, are you there? I'm okay. How long was I out for? Rad, I thought we'd lost you. Okay, Rad, in this case, here's the situation. The president placed a huge fleet right outside Russian waters, and recon missions are flying over Soviet bases. It's like trying to provoke a nuclear war. Well, if that's what he wants, it's working there as a faction of Soviets here that are convinced America is about to attack. They're trying to get their government to make a first strike to prevent it. It's worse than we'd fear. All right, I couldn't read that, but let's go to Moscow. And the last color palette. I damage enemies. Of course. Okay, Rad, this is it. The whole world is counting on you to end the cold world by any cold war by any mean possible. This is it. Last level. We'll start semblance tomorrow. I'm not worried about that. I just want to get through this. End this. Call it a night. Making our way over. Look at us, they're attacking us with hockey sticks now. We're gonna beat this. The game wasn't bad. I mean, for a $5 game, $6, whatever it may be, it's actually pretty good. They give you a lot for your value. The music and the sound are good. Um, trying to beat it in one sitting is obviously not the best thing you can do for it. Bro, are these the Hammer Brothers? Seriously. Now it looks like Super Mario Brothers. Let's take the blaster down a notch.
Actually, we have so much here. Let's fill this out. There's so much battery power. We're like those eggplant guys in Kid Icarus. through here. I don't have to actually fight them all. Oh! Oh, we could actually walk on that. We can't. These just look like blocks right out of Super Mario Brothers. Seriously. Because it's snowing and icing, they are slippery. Only that helped. Why are we overloading? There we go. Hang on. Anything over here? Med kit. Nice. Hockey pucks they're throwing at us. No longer throwing bullets. Let's fight him from back here. There we go. Do this. Hit him. There we go. One more time. Oh, hammers. Got him. up would be nice, because we're going to have to restart this whole level if we die here. Now they're on ice skates. Keep going. Red Raygun is in Red Square. Defend our city. So we're in Moscow proper. There's some health. How the heck do I get that health? No idea how to get that health. Fall down here? bit of luck. There's no way to get the health kit. Keep going. Another checkpoint. 
It's not really going to help us here. No health kit, no one up. Oh, health kits. Thank you, Jesus. He's got a battery. I could care less about the battery. And there's a one-up right there. Let's try to get that one-up. It's the least we could do, right? Got it. Leave the battery alone. That's, that's grounds for getting us killed. Finishing this up. If there isn't a boss here, I don't know what there is. We're at the entrance to Medvede Medved's lair. Rad, be ready for anything. Okay, so this would be it. Very 80s music. Oh, an extra life. Thank you. We made it so hard up until this point. Now we're getting extra power-ups. Boss battle's gotta be up here, right? Bear. Medved, I'm here to put an end to... Oh, you. You look a lot scarier than the posters. Well, we hoped to make your new Americans think twice before attacking us, but that seems to have failed. That's right, as long as both our nations exist, the world is in danger. And despite all you've seen, we believe the United States ought to endure while my country falls? Absolutely. Oh, well, kind of. Look, I'm not really here for thoughtful, nuanced discussion. I'm here to blow you up and end the Soviet Union. All right, Raygun. In that case, you leave me little no I need little choice. Oh, come on. It can't be this easy, right? You already beat him. Yeah, now he's a robot. He's gonna kill us. There we go. Good thing we have agility. to death. And we died. Let's try it again. First phase is ridiculous. Second phase, really tough. Gotta duck out of all of his weapons. Yeah, we're not doing too good here.
Come on, Rad. Gotta be a little more agile. We're dead. We're dead. It's unfortunate we did not do it here. Came close, though. Again, it's gonna be tough. Do not want to die here. We're not gonna be able to use that arc shot very much, so. Got him. Tough. Agility, we need our agility. Forget it. Less checkpoints. Let's try this again. This is the last boss of this game. Either we beat him or we don't. Bed. Breezy Bear. We lost out on that one. How do we do this? We don't need backlights, so let's take that out. We need a battery detector. Let's go with maximum arc shot and let's hope for the best. There we go, that's what I need. Get over there. One more pass. Got this. Nope. There we go. Not much damage we took off him already. Ah, oh, barely got hit. Get up there. All 
Alright. One more time. This is it. Eat him. Wow. With the sleeping bear roar. Oh no, we never suspected that he'd have a third form. Oh Jesus Christ. Really? People suck with this third form. What? God. Just keep going left. Don't die. The hell? What? No! No! Really? I was supposed to fight him in his third form? It was just a matter of running away. <sighs> Last time. So close to the end of this. Can't beat him now. That's it. We'll try to beat him tomorrow. I can't believe. There's a third form. He's not even telling me, like, how to approach his third form and try to beat it. So... That sucks. I think there's like a jaguar or something coming up. That pissed me off. That third form. Couldn't just let it go. We have to fight the third form. Hang on. Alright. So disappointed at that third form. sickles at me. We lost our first life. Not good. Just get out of here. Oh man, this is not going well. There's a chance to get a one-up later on, but not until we get to the boss. I know an easy way to beat the boss, but I don't know how to beat his third form. I thought we just had to run away from this third form. Alright, let's... Wait, something here. Help, okay. one out. That's the second one. Oh, 
Got him. Got him. Right now, our main... Our main destination is just to get to the boss and straighten it out from there. There's going to be help there. There may be a one-up. I know how to beat the boss now, so that's a plus. Checkpoint after checkpoint. We're in red square. No way to get that health. Doesn't matter. We'll get some before we fight the boss. How close we are to the boss, we're getting there. Ah, oh, okay. There we are. That helped. Secret passageway. Oh. Take the high road so we don't have to deal with them. We do have to deal with them down here. Really? That much damage? I don't even care about the bits and the money. Go with the health. There's a one-up right there, that's what I want. That gives us two one-ups. I don't even need the other battery. What have we been streaming for? This has got to end. This has got to end now. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Bear's coming up. cook dinner now. I just want to really beat this game. I'll give you a health kit because you're at the end. This is the end boss. That's the uh, checkpoint. There's another one up here too, I think. I don't know why they put the checkpoints so close to each other. Alright, here we go. The bear. comes.
Don't let him hit you. We got him. Third form coming up. See, this is what I don't understand, is how do we fight him in this third form? I really don't know how. Oh, we just gotta keep blasting him. Okay. I gotta fight him again, completely? Alright, hold on. It's his third form. Medved. Third form. Super Rad Raken. Shows us how to kill him. It's got to be a less play, right? Part 17, this has to be the end of it, right? No, this is right before. If 17 is in it, there's got to be a part 18. There it is. Triple threat. Must be referring to the bear. Game over. Or 19 finale? How'd you beat him in his third form? You just kept shooting him, but... Oh, I see. You keep doing the arc on him. Keep moving left and shooting at him. It's the arc, the arc shot. That's what you got to use on him. Third form is the arc shot. Get over there. Nope. 
Alright, we got this. Alright, come back. Fly back and forth. Now we got the third form, which we have to take out with the arc shot. Can't be taken out any other which way. I don't even have the most powerful arc shot, do I? No, not by far. Oh, he killed me too. Means I gotta fight him again. You know what? We're gonna leave this for tomorrow. I gotta go upgrade the arc shot. That's what it's supposed to be. Shot up here. Come on. Let's do the song and dance again. Ah, uh, still got hit. My arc shot is not strong enough to defeat him. So we're gonna have to finish this off tomorrow, I think. This is ridiculously stupid. Oof, this is impossible. Because you waste all your energy trying to kill him here, and if you fall off the platform, you're dead. So, what am I supposed to do? I mean, everything's powered up. Little bullets don't do anything to me. Wonder if you just need to get through the level by running rather than fighting him. I tried that already and I got to a wall. And I realized I do gotta fight him. I saw a YouTube playthrough that basically said you gotta fight him. Thing is, the guy uses arc attack, his secondary attack, this one. But the problem is, is I don't have full, um, full attack there. Like, full power for it, so... Like, this part's no problem. Now, it goes to hell. See, that barely did any damage to him. And I have it maxed out. It's 
See, his bullets are not going to do any damage. I can survive him. Problem is, if he gets over me, he starts munching on me. See, we are damaging him, but that's the end of the level right there. So what do I do when I get here? Start going back, I'm dead. Game over. All right, we're gonna end it here. That's very tough. I think what I really need to do is upgrade myself to um, full arc shot and then I'll be okay. So I'll do that, and we'll try to beat it tomorrow. Hopefully I can beat it. If not, we'll start Semblance. I'll give it like three tries tomorrow, and that's it. F.A., thank you for hanging out. Tikaru, um, Camellia was on earlier, DRS, Kaninsky. Thanks for chilling. Um, not a lot in chat. Um, a lot of people in the chat room, so... Do we raid somebody or do we just host them? I think we just host them. Sleeper Shell. She's playing until dawn. Let's raid her. That'll be fun. Even though there's so many of us, please join the raid. Sleeper Shell's good people. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. We'll try to beat Rad Ray Gun then. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Good night. Take it easy.